Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and during the month of December I'm going to be posting to this channel every day. So if you love a variety channel like this one and you want to see more videos then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now I'm going to share with you what's in my son's Christmas stocking. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you what's in my son's Christmas stocking. So I normally make one of these every year. I wasn't going to make one this year because my son is getting a little bit older and he has started to watch some of my YouTube videos. They do pop up on his uh, tablet. So I wasn't really gonna make one of these, but I'm going to and I'm gonna hope that he doesn't watch. If he is watching, then I'd like you to stop now, Ted. But yes, he hasn't asked for much this year, so this probably won't be a very long video, but I just wanted to share with you what I've brought. So here is what is in my son's Christmas stocking. So I thought I'd start with sweet treats that I always love to put in Ted's stocking. So the first sweet treat that I bought him was this Christmas penguin. So this is a jolly penguin and this is from Hotel Chocolat. I always like to put chocolate into my son's stocking and my husband's as well actually because I know it's something that they both enjoy and they both like eating. So I always try to even it out in their stockings. It's like I have two children and not one but anyway yeah so Ted has a jolly penguin from Hotel Chocolat this year and I did the buy three for 22 pounds. So I also got him some little round penguins and this was part of that deal as well. Um, a dozen portly penguins and these are just milk chocolate and white chocolate penguins together. And then I also got him some reindeer. He really likes white chocolate and we don't normally eat it in this house. So I always think this is a bit of a treat for him at Christmas. So I got him uh, the sleigh team from Hotel Chocolat as well. And that's everything I got from Hotel Chocolat for Ted. As I said, he hadn't asked for much, but I went into Primark to buy his pajamas for his Christmas Eve box. And I saw this. So this is a PlayStation Snoody. It is huge. So it's one of those big baggy jumpers that you can just wear around the house. It's really long, it has a hood on it, and it is really warm as well. Ted always complains that he's cold and sits on the sofa in a blanket. And this year, Mummy has asked for one of these in her Christmas stocking. So I've asked for one of these from Father Christmas as well. And I know that if he sees mine, he's gonna wanna wear it and I won't get to wear it. So I thought I'd better buy him one as well. So I bought him this PlayStation one from Primark. I think I actually cut out all the labels as well. Um, but I, I think this was about £16 in Primark. Obviously, I can't link anything from Primark in the description box below. I'm hoping to one day because I know that they have now got flagship stores where they are, where you can order online, I think, and then click and collect, I think they've got going at the moment. So fingers crossed it rolls out to here as well. But yes, this feels so warm and so cozy that I'm sure he's not gonna take it off this Christmas at all. Now we're on to the main bulk of presents that we bought him. And this year we decided to stick to a budget. Normally we try to stick to a budget and we always overspend, especially on Ted, but this year we have actually stuck to the budget. So everything here cost under 100 150 pounds including the presents that I have just shown you as well so he's only got a few bits but he has some really expensive bits if you see what I mean so he's got some quite expensive presents but there's only a few of them so the first thing that he asked for is this switch game and this is FIFA 23 so Ted has been playing FIFA on his tablet for a little while and it's the free version and he really wanted FIFA 22 I think it was or FIFA 23 so we have bought him FIFA 23 I think this was about 30 pounds um, so it was quite pricey I have to say but I know that he's going to enjoy this and I know that he's going to 
I actually play it as well so I don't mind buying him the game if I know he's going to play it so yeah this was as I said £30 and if I can find it I'll link it in the description box below for you in recent months Ted has really got into playing Pokemon so he doesn't play Pokemon on the phone he actually plays with the cards and he likes playing with his friends and he likes swapping with his friends as well and this year he asked for the Pokemon trading game card game silver sword silver tempest and this includes a six booster pack as well don't ask me what it's about i know some of the pokemon characters i don't understand the cards at all though um but this cost us i think it was probably somewhere between five and ten pounds my husband actually bought this one so i'm not too sure how much it cost but i know as i said everything in Ted's uh, stocking this year cost less than £150. And then I'm really pleased to say that Ted loves to read um, and he really loves the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. So he has asked for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid Diaper Overload book this year. I can't believe I've just said that out loud on YouTube, but that is what he has asked for. So he's read my probably all of the books I'd like to say and this is the new one so he really wanted this so how did I got this on Amazon I think it was cheaper than the RRP so the RRP is $12.99 but I think it was something like $7.99 on Amazon um, and yeah as I said he really enjoys these books he's read all of them apart from this one so I'm sure he's going to be super excited when he receives this on Christmas Day the final present that Ted has asked for this year for Christmas and probably the most expensive actually is the most expensive and it is the biggest as well I have to say is the Harry Potter train set so Ted absolutely loves Harry Potter I'm really pleased to say that I really like Harry Potter as well so it's an interest we both have together which I think is nice um, and he really wanted the train this year it was quite expensive though I think this cost us about £80 so that's why Ted hasn't really got that many presents because this was such a big present and we were trying to stick to a budget this year as well but I know that he's going to love this present he started to build Lego and not dismantle it now I've noticed so he got a spider I think it was how bought it in from uh, a local supermarket so a Lego spider and he built it and he hasn't dismantled it and when he was younger he always used to dismantle his toys and they'd always end up in like a big Lego box that we have in our living room um, but he didn't dismantle it this time and I'm thinking that he probably won't dismantle this either um, he really loves Lego as well he doesn't play with it as much as he used to but I'm sure this is going to keep him in entertained on Christmas Day as I said this was quite pricey I think it was around £80 but if I can find it I will link it in the description box below for you that's everything in my son's Christmas stocking this year and I would love to know what you're buying your children for Christmas this year or if you're buying them or have you stuck to a budget are they getting a lot or are they getting a little I would love to know so please let me know in the comments below and please feel free to give this video a big big thumbs up and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you soon bye